TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 15th of November, mid-month. And we're looking at really a spectacular uh, move into this uh, new recovery high at 33,987 high. We're at 33,885 right now. Pull back a bit from the high. <clears throat> and what's really important about this is that my contention has been for subscribers that the 33,900s would be somewhat of a resistance area. The day is young, not just over 30 minutes into the trading day, and we've already touched it once. Let's see what happens later on. Most importantly, look at this weekly chart here. <clears throat> Very nicely above the inside track repellent zone. Will it become a propellant zone? We'll see soon enough. Looking at the S&P, S&P is actually up. Uh, very nicely here, touching the 200 period exponential moving average. It's up 68 at 4,024. Uh, very nice action leg B in the weekly chart. That needs a lot more work, but that daily chart, that's a very nice comeback from just four days ago where it was lagging. Now, leg D in the QQQs, strong move up, up 2.5%, up 719 at 290, uh, 292.68. A uh, very nice move here in leg D. Weekly chart bumping into the resistance in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Ha, we'll see. This is the, just about the beginning of the week. We'll see what happens by midweek. And we're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, having a very strong move up 2%, up 367 at 188.51, just above the 200 period exponential moving average. We'll discuss these when I get back from our show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Gold continues moving higher. <clears throat> it's down three at 1774 on the 200 period moving average, but it did make a new recovery high of 1791. Very good action. Probably getting just a little tired here momentarily. And we're looking at the dollar, <clears throat> which keeps pulling back. So uh, gold is at its 200 period moving average resistance, and uh, the dollar is a 200 period exponential moving average support. We're going to be watching this closely. And we'll also look at crude oil which has been pulling back. It's down again today, down a dollar and 85. Watching this closely because this is really helping uh, the market in the sense that there's some kind of alleviation of the, uh, the pressure from higher yields. We're looking at the um, TLT at 